Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second episode about few basics. If you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out my new tutorials. In the previous episode, we installed and ran Vue app using Vue CLI. Today, we'll work on attribute binding and add image and title. So first, let's add the CSS file that is required for this project. So open my GitHub account. I have shared this link in the description below. You can then open this in folder, src, assets, CSS, and main.css. You can then copy all of the CSS and then open your text editor, create a new CSS file and paste it over here. Then you can save it under this in folder, source folder, assets folder. You can create a new folder for the CSS and you can call it main.css. To import this CSS, you can open main.js, then you can add import and path to your CSS. Once CSS is added, let's add image for this project. So open your project folder, open your source folder, assets, and you can add your image over here. Currently, I have got three images for this project. Now, let's add Google font and font awesome CDN. So open your text editor, open this public folder and open your index.html. You can then add your Google font and font awesome CDN. And you can also change this title. I will call it product detail. Now let's remove all of the sample content. So open your components folder, open hello world.view. Then you can remove every HTML element over here. You can remove the style and you can remove the props as well. Open your app.view and again you can remove the style and you can remove this image tag and the message. Now let's do one last change before we add image and title. Uh, that is to rename this component name from hello world to product because we will be working on product page. So you can right click on it and rename, make it product.view. Then in this app.view, wherever it says hello world, change it to product. Also in this product.view, Instead of hello world, you can change it to product. This is the component where we will be adding our image and title. So over here, let's create a div with a class called container. And inside this div, let's create another div with a class called product. Now, since we need image and content, I'm going to create two more div one with a class called image and that is to add the image and another with a class called content and this is to add the static title over here. I can see there is some error in my terminal so let's open this app.view and here I'm missing forward slash. Now it seems everything is good. So check your site and we can see our static title. Great. 
Now, instead of using the static title, let's use data property. So open your product.view. Just after this name, you can add data property. I will give it the name of product. Then for the value, I'm gonna copy this title and paste it over here. Now, to use this data over here, we have to use expression. So let's use double curly braces and add product over here. If you check the site now, you will still get the same title over here. But if the data is changed, then the site will get updated too. Great. Now let's add image in this data. I will call product image. Then I'm going to add the path to my image over here. In this template, let's add the image tag with the src attribute. Since we are showing image from this data, let's add vbind directive over here. Now the expression we have to add over here is product image. Check the site now and we can see the image over here. But if the image gets changed in the data, it will get updated in the site too. Great! This is the end of this session. In the next session, we'll work on conditional statement to show in stock or out of stock. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. If you want some hosting companies, you can check the link in the description below. Thank you and see you soon.